Hello and welcome to your July 2022 general reading for the sign of Taurus. Now, this is a general reading. It may not resonate with all of you, but my hope is always that um, whoever is drawn to um, hearing their um, messages normally finds the appropriate video. That makes sense, right? And as you can tell, I'm not on my own this month. I have a guest, Charlie Evans. Hello. Thank you so much for joining me. And what we will do here, we will actually share, um, we will actually divide this a little bit into three areas. So we will look at the overall energy for the month of July 2022, like I said, for the sign of Taurus. And then we will look at the emotional core, what can go, maybe there's love coming in, all these kind of things. Um, and then lastly, we will actually look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of July. Now, opportunities are always, or most of the time to be fair, about what sustains you financially. And what is important about the month of July is that we are in Cancer and from Cancer we're moving to Leo. Now Cancer is governed by the Moon and Leo is governed by the Sun. And while these two luminaries, they're not even planets, they're just called planets for convenience, they're luminaries. <laughs> Doesn't really make a difference, just sounds better. Anyway, these luminaries while they oftentimes um, you know, orbit each other and are oftentimes close to one another, they do not share space well. What that means, energetically speaking, is when you go from one to the next, so you're going from the moon's emotional outbursts at times to the sun's egotistical view of the world. That makes sense, right? Both are valid, right? And both need to be controlled. So when we then go from, can from Cancer to Leo, uh, on, the, on, on the 23rd of July, just pay attention because a couple of days before that transition, the sort of four or five days before we go into, into Leo, you might find that it will be difficult for you to actually um, communi communicate properly. And that is because of that um, relation between the sun and the moon. There's nothing we can do, happens every year, so to speak, right? But it is special because it only really happens in the month of July, because only then do we have a star sign that is governed by the, by the moon changing to a star sign that is governed by the sun. Okay, with no further ado, here's the overall energy for the month of July 2022 for the sign of Taurus. Hello Taurus, so your card for the overall energy is the Miriam, which is sacred vision. So choose to forgive in order to heal see the light in all remember that love has no boundaries so this is all about being able to see the good in people uh, i feel like this is already a good quality that you have tauruses but just remember to keep that strength keep, keep that good quality make sure that you cherish the ones you love and that you're not seeing or fretting over the little details that you're grateful for everyone in your life and that you're not judging people or acting too rashly because of the little things. Remember the big picture this month, not the little one. And just remember that love has no boundaries. There is no specific terms of love. So embrace love this month. Thank you very much. And what, when it comes to your emotions, you have literally the term honoring. What they're saying to you is, um, so that always, we always have overlapping energy, so it continues on from that really. But the point they're making is, in order for you to, to really understand what's going on, you need to first step back a little and then look at what it is you already have. You know, sort of where am I in the scheme of things, what's happening in my entire life. So pay attention to your entire life, but honor the things that work. Because one of the issues that Taurians have, I could have said can have, but I know many of Taurians and in that context, or any Taurus that I've ever met, they are all alike. <laughs> in that context. And that context is that there is a stubborn streak to you. And the stubborn streak is probably the wrong word, but it is, is about whenever you, once you're pissed off, you're pissed off. And you stay annoyed for the longest time. And because the, the overall energy was about understanding love, um, looking at love in its entirety, when you then hold on to energies that are lower, that doesn't allow you to experience anything or to actually continue giving love which also then means that it's much harder for you to actually to receive love and honoring means and here's a depiction of an altar right that does not necessarily mean that you have to have an altar but the point is you bring it to one place right in your case this is all about your heart chakra 
right, which is another really important thing for Taurians. Um, while while Taurians by default sometimes have issues with their throat chakra and, and communication is not always easy, you are very, very deep people. Hence the, 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 the heart chakra um, is oftentimes affected for Taurians, which is why love is so important to bring it all in, because in the heart chakra is where love sits and also rejection sits. So it's all understanding that what the, what the universe is saying to you is old, old knowledge, old news, just retold so you actually pay attention and honoring means that you actually look at what have i got in my life that actually works for me what have i got where i feel like yeah i'm being honored just the way i am another thing really important thing for taurians is when people don't accept you for who you are um, you don't know what to do with it universally speaking you have to let them go that's sort of the simple way of, of saying it because why would you carry uh, uh, people around that, that, that for, for whom you have to change all the time, right? So that's your, your, your energy. Again, um, I had another reading before that. We, we just recorded it Aries. And uh, in Aries too, just like with you um, Taurians, there isn't energy here where the guides are saying there's love coming in or that can go. This is about you understanding who you are in the scheme of things and looking at how people treat you, not just how you treat people, but how, how, how do people treat you? So the, the interaction, which again makes sense because here you have the moon, here you have the sun, not sharing space well. So this is all connected energetically as well in the month of July. So good luck to you, right? Maybe it's a good idea to treat yourself really nicely, right? You know, get yourself some ice cream or whatever. I mean, it's July. It should probably be, <laughs> should probably be the months where we can afford it, right? <laughs> to eat it. Um, so my feeling is what I'm getting is, is for you to actually look at yourself, spoil yourself a little, and then when you feel like, yeah, my self worth is a bit better, and I'm feeling a bit more appreciated because I appreciate myself a little more. That's when you then look into, am I giving enough love and am I receiving enough love, right? And for now, without further ado, we're looking at the opportunities for the month of July 2022 for the sign of Taurus. Uh, yeah, so uh, your opportunities, the card is the spider. So this um, normally doesn't come with, in terms of money, because it's about finding your creative spark and investing in it. But that makes total sense to apply it to your opportunities for the month. So make sure that you're treating yourself, that you're investing that time into things that heal your soul that make you feel enjoyment make you feel at peace so make sure that you're spending the time and the money because it will heal you and it will bring you um that energy that you need in so that you can give it out as well so make sure that you do treat yourself and that you're investing your money and your time into yourself as well okay thank you very much so please like, subscribe and share and remember if you like my work you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas that's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas and don't worry I love coffee that money will be well spent <laughs> thank you so much see you next month bye bye